डर व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू मैस्यू ओपन ऑनलाइन कोर्सेस इन दिस सेगमेंट वी विल स्पीक अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वायरसेस एज यू नो वायरसेस आर न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीनेशियस एंटाइटीज दैट सर्व एज बॉर्डर लाइन बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग बींग्स दे कंटेन न्यूक्लिक एसिड and protein and serve as super parasites they are non living in extracellular environment but behave as living organisms inside cells they have been classified differently on different basis like nature genetic material life cycle etc on the basis of nature of host viruses are classified into following types number 1 bacteriophages bacteriophages are the viruses which complete their life cycle in bacterial cells they have a number of types t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 t series another group of viruses is called cyanophages they are the viruses which complete their life cycle in cyanobacterial cells cyanobacteria are prokaryotic organisms having a cell wall and cell wall is followed by plasma membrane which encloses uncompartmentalized protoplasm therefore cyanophages is a class of viruses which only attack and destroy cyanobacterial cells this specificity is because of presence of proteins in plasma membrane which help in identification of the virus particles the third group of viruses is called mycophages it includes the viruses which complete their life cycle in fungal cells or fungal hyphae they attack fungal mycelia and replicate in them fourth group of viruses is called phytophages it's a group of viruses that attack plant cells find their way into nucleus and cytoplasm and then complete their life cycle in plant cells they penetrate through cellulose cell wall to reach to plasma membrane and then puncture plasma membrane to enter cytoplasm plants are eukaryotes and therefore their cells have complete compartmentalization in cytoplasm they have organelles with single membranes double membranes and triple membranes viruses attack plant cells enter into cytoplasm hijack the protein synthesizing machinery destroy dna and then multiply to form new viruses the new virus is formed burst the cells and move out in search of new hosts fifth group of viruses is called zoophages they are the viruses which complete their life cycle in animal cells animal cells are eukaryotic cells having plasma membrane as the only covering of protoplasm the protoplasm is well compartmentalized possessing endomembrane system organized as single and double membrane bound organelles they are well organized er golgi bodies as golgi complexes mitochondria nucleus and other organelles zoophages attach themselves to the surface of plasma membrane of target cells 
or host cells with the help of their proteins. The plasma membrane also possesses virus specific proteins. For example, HIV possesses a protein in its coat called GP120. It shows sensitivity for a protein called CD4. CD4 protein lies in human T lymphocytes, a group of T lymphocytes called T helper cells. Therefore, HIV is able to infect, attack and destroy T helper cells. Sixth group of viruses is called dual host viruses. This group includes those viruses which infect more than one type of hosts. How is it possible? It is possible only because two different hosts possess on their cells the same receptor protein which is able to provide attachment site for the virus. Viruses are also classified on the basis of genetic material they possess inside. Viral genetic material is either RNA, DNA and rarely both. On the basis of nature of genetic material, viruses have been classified into three types, namely riboviruses, deoxyriboviruses and ribodeoxyriboviruses. Riboviruses are the viruses that possess RNA as genetic material. The RNA is either single stranded or double stranded, linear or circular. Plant viruses are generally riboviruses. Riboviruses have been classified into two categories, namely riboviruses with single stranded RNA and riboviruses with double stranded RNA. Viruses with single stranded RNA are written as ssRNA viruses. For example, TMV, tobacco mosaic virus, it has single stranded RNA. Other group of viruses is called viruses with double stranded RNA or DS RNA viruses. They are the viruses with double stranded RNA. The best example is Rio virus, wound tumor virus, rice dwarf virus. Some of these riboviruses undergo reverse transcription in the host cell to form DNA. Such riboviruses have been given the name retroviruses. Retro word stands for reverse transcription. Transcription is the formation of RNA from DNA. Reverse transcription is the formation of DNA from RNA. Those viruses which are able to form DNA from their RNA are called retroviruses. Best example is HIV. The other group of viruses which have RNA are called non-retroviruses. They are the viruses which replicate their RNA and lack the capability of forming DNA. Tobacco mosaic virus is the best known example of these viruses which multiplies its RNA in the host cell and is able to form new viruses without undergoing replication. The second group of viruses is called deoxyriboviruses. This group of viruses includes those viruses which have DNA as genetic material. This DNA is either linear or circular. It is either single-stranded or has two antiparallel strands. 
Accordingly, deoxyriboviruses have been classified into subtypes. One group is deoxyriboviruses with single stranded DNA. The best examples of this class of viruses is pyroviruses, 5174 virus, S13 virus, M12 virus, etc. Other group included as deoxyribovirus is called deoxyribovirus with double stranded DNA. These viruses have either circular or linear double stranded DNA. The best examples are T2 bacteriophages. The third group of viruses have RNA as well as DNA as genetic material. This group of viruses is very rare and includes those viruses which possess RNA as well as DNA as genetic material. Two such viruses have been identified. One human wound tumor virus HTV and the other virus which attacks plant cells. Viruses have also been classified on the basis of their life cycle in host cells. On this basis, two groups of viruses have been identified. One group called lytic viruses and the other group called lysogenic viruses. Lytic viruses are the viruses that kill the cell and multiply themselves soon after the entry into host cell. Lytic word has been derived from lysis. Lysis means breakdown. So this group of viruses called lytic viruses are the viruses which when find their way into host cell destroy the cell multiply themselves to form their multiple copies and burst the cell, emerge out, leading to cell death. This group of viruses is very common. TMV is a lytic virus. HIV is a lytic virus. The other group called lysogenic viruses is a group where viruses after entering into the host cell integrate their genetic material into the DNA of host cell. They are the viruses that load their DNA and integrate it with the DNA of the host cell. They remain along with the host cell for generations together. These viruses have ability to synthesize enzymes called restriction endonucleases. The enzymes find their way into nucleus of host cell cut DNA at specific sites. Once the DNA of the host cell is cut, then the viral DNA is integrated into it with the help of enzymes called ligases. It is believed that proto-oncogenes present in human genome are in fact lysogenic viruses. These viruses integrate with the DNA of host cell, allow the cell to divide for 20, 30, 40 generations without disturbing it. And finally, they turn lytic. Therefore, this group of viruses is called delayed lytic viruses. After allowing the cell to divide, its daughter cells to divide, they become active in the progeny and disintegrate from the host cell DNA. After disintegration, they hijack protein synthesizing machinery, synthesize randomly exonucleases and endonucleases. The enzymes digest the DNA of host cell and help the ribosomes to synthesize the viral proteins instead of the host cell proteins. After synthesizing sufficient number of viral proteins, the viral DNA integrates with these proteins to form new virus particles. 
the particles, then burst the cell and emerge out in search of new hosts. This group of viruses is rare, but light group of viruses is very common. Another classification of viruses is based on morphology. The symmetry of viruses has been found to vary. And therefore, it has been used as a pretext for classifying viruses into different categories. On the basis of symmetry or general morphology, viruses have been divided into several groups. One group is called helical viruses. They are the viruses which have cylindrical shape or look like rods having their nucleic acid arranged like a helix. They can be single-stranded or can have double-stranded nucleic acid. The best example of these viruses is mumps virus, rabies virus, tobacco mosaic virus. Other group of viruses is called polyhedral viruses. Polyhedral viruses are those viruses which have complex symmetry with eight or more corners. In these viruses, the nucleic acid is packed as an integrated unit at the center in an unknown manner. They have been further classified into subgroups on the basis of number of corners. They include tetrahedral viruses, octahedral viruses, icosahedral viruses, depending upon the number of faces or the number of corners. Of these viral groups, icosahedral form is considered to be the most efficient shape because of packing and bending of capsomers in a nearly spherical form. An icosahedron has 12 corners, 20 triangular faces and 30 edges. The best example of these viruses is poliovirus, adenovirus. Other group of viruses is called enveloped viruses. Enveloped viruses are a group of viruses, the capsid of which is covered by an external envelope. Such viruses may be spherical, helical or polyhedral in shape. These viruses not only possess nucleic acid and protein, they also have carbohydrate and lipid. HIV is one such example which has an envelope of phospholipoprotein. The fourth group of viruses is called complex viruses. This group of viruses includes bacteriophages which have complex structure and complex symmetry. Best example is T even bacteriophage. This phage has a capsid called head to which are attached structures like helical tail sheath, base plate, tail fibers and pins attached to it. This was about classification of viruses. Thank you.